We begin with breaking news. A Dallas mother finally gets justice for her two little girls. She just witnessed her ex-husband's execution, the man who killed her young daughters. John Battaglia was executed just moments ago after the U.S. Supreme Court denied several last-ditch appeals. Our Rebecca Lopez had just witnessed the execution. She's live tonight in Huntsville with much more. Rebecca? Well, Battaglia, as I suspected, showed no remorse. He didn't apologize. He didn't say much. Uh, he, they began administering the drugs at about 9.18. At 9.40 is when he was declared dead. And we have some video of Battaglia from uh, earlier. Again, he was um, executed today after he w filed several appeals. His lawyers filed several appeals to try to keep him alive, uh, but they were denied by the Fifth Circuit Court of appeal and also the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, in the witness room on one side, uh, Battaglia had no one. There were no family members. His parents didn't show up. No one, no friends. No one showed up to watch him be executed. On the other side, the victim side, Mary Jean Pearl, his ex-wife, was there. And when he, uh, when they entered the room, he turned to her and said, oh, hey, Mary Jean, uh, see y'all later. Bye. And then he he kind of laughed and he started looking around and then he said, am I still alive? Uh, he started laughing and then he took a couple of uh, deep breaths, began snoring and then passed away. Now, I'm going to step aside right now because you can see the family is actually leaving the uh, the unit right now. There is Mary Jean Pearl with her family. Uh, they are uh, going home. Obviously, she did not show any reaction. I am told that she stood very close to the window. She watched him closely, and once the drugs were administered, she turned her back, went to the back of the room, and said, I have seen enough of him. And that was all she said. It, she was pretty unemotional, but as you can imagine, this has been years and years in the making. He has filed appeal after appeal, and uh, and so she was ready for this day. Now, here is what the spokesperson, Jason Clark, said about uh, his last words. He was looking over at the victim side, and he said, uh, when the warden asked if he had a last statement, he said, no, well, hi, Mary Jean. I'll see y'all later. Go ahead, please. And again, you know, he very, he did not apologize. He never ever took ownership for what he did. And in my interview with him a couple of years ago, all he could talk about was himself and he blamed everyone. He had this uh, thing that he believed that there was this great conspiracy against him. But even until his dying breath, he never acknowledged what he did to those two little innocent girls. And he never took ownership for killing them and shooting them while their mother listened on the phone. Reporting live in Huntsville, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. Our thanks Great. to you, 